Hello everyone, myself Virendro and welcome back to my channel mytechnibook.in Well, I've just made that video after a very long time well and uh, due to work pressure I'm not able to uh, maintain this uh, page but now I'm coming with a new video don't worry I'm just always coming with some new concepts so today's video is how we can install uh, sent OS uh, which is a very hardcore Linux version uh, in your Raspberry Pi and uh, I will install the graphical interface not the command line interface the graphical interface of CentOS in the Raspberry Pi and believe me it is much much faster than your other operating system uh, like Debian or uh, your Raspbians etc etc well without wasting any time let's begin okay let's check out the content first so what are the prerequisite uh, we need uh, for uh, set up that parts of uh, your Raspberry Pi uh, we read uh, definitely we need a uh, model B or more than that because I choose model B because I have that as well as I want to test that how like how much RAM it's required to run the uh, send OS so I have a Raspberry Pi model B with 1 GB of RAM okay a uh, class 10 uh, 16 GBs of SD card and uh, an HDMI cable I, I don't have HDMI cable I have an adapter and so I used an HDMI adapter and VGA to HDMI converter okay this uh, HDMI but if you have a TV or any HDMI uh, portable uh, monitor then you can use that uh, definitely so that is why I mentioned the monitor and a keyboard and mouse a stable internet connections is very clear and a Raspberry Pi power supply okay so come to the point you can use your 5 volt 2 ampere power supply if you have or if you have any like uh, power source uh, like a portable power source then you can use that and those are the links that uh, that we, we have where from where we have to download the CentOS uh, operating system uh, if you want then I can uh, share my links too then you can easily download my uh, my recommended operating system because whenever you visit the website there are multiple operating system are present let me show you Here you can see there are multiple list of operating system from there you have to choose a stable version I already have that okay I will uh, also attach the link with it in the description of that video and now uh, another thing for the Windows user that you need an application which is known as Rufus it's a very popular application you will definitely get uh, support from uh, YouTube as well as its uh, own page I found the page too let me show you for windows uh, user uh, here you have to choose the operating system and after that you have to burn the operating system to the SD card okay now coming to the point we have to first download the operating system I already downloaded so I go to my operating system here okay uh, whenever at the beginning you download the file it's a tar file or zip file okay you have to extract that after extraction you have to change the extensions okay yeah because it's coming with a raw extension you have to convert it if you are download it from this links okay if you are not using my uh, recommended uh, operating system and if you want to download such kinds of links okay let me show you suppose this is uh, these are the links and uh, always recommend uh, you to download the genome versions okay so whenever you click on that you can see uh, is sda.raw.exe okay so you have to omit the exe and make it a img extension okay after extract that and uh, it's a highly compressed uh, tar file uh, which is uh, you can see the 
size of the file it's only 821 but after extract it will convert it into 3.4 GB okay so it's highly compressed and always recommend you to change the extensions name uh, which is uh, or default which uh, extract default with raw you have to convert it into IMG just simply you have to rename it and at the end you have to add IMG how we can uh, burn the operating system as I show you in my previous video uh, here you can see how you can burn the operating system though uh, this is the video you can watch it from here well still I'm going to show you how you can burn it you have to right click on that after that open with disk image writer okay okay now here is the tricks you have to choose your SD card I already have uh, connected with my adapter uh, with my laptop so it easily detected the SD card okay let me show you first then I will start burning here is my send to SD card you can see it's already mounted here oh no it's not mounted if you want to mount it then you, uh, you can choose this oh, I don't want to mount it uh, now so I'm just close it out again and again right click on that open with disk image writer okay from here we have to choose it and start restoring okay now click on restore after that we have to give your system password I have to put it so now it's restoring okay that will take some time I'm just going to pause that video here and uh, again I will come when the when the work is almost done okay guys now it's almost uh, almost come to the end and uh, it's only 7 uh, 97 98 and now 100 okay uh, you can see the uploading spread is 19 mbps so that is why I always recommend you to use the class 10 SD card okay now after completing the restore you can see it divided into three partitions right one for fat one for swap memory one for root directory and another 11 gbs of space is free okay it's you can see it's not uh, it, it's not present with the partitions okay for uh, for uh, merged it we have to like again create a partition but but we are not creating from this computer okay because what happened uh, in various distribution of Linux or Windows like uh, for Windows or various distribution of Linux some properties are not present but it's present on CentOS so we are not going to merge this free space with that partition so so what I have to do now I have to Re, uh, disconnect the SD card from this computer and we have to put it on my Raspberry Pi well guys in that video we are successfully make a bootable a SD card and the image is uh, sent to us and in the next part or the next ending session of the video we will uh, see how we can set up the Raspberry Pi and complete the rest of the work and thank you very much for watching that video till the end and I hope you enjoy the video if you if you like the video please give us a thumbs up your thumbs up is really inspired me uh, and make some more video in future and don't worry now we are going to start the channel as a regular basis and gives you a much more video that, that we can do okay thank you so much for watching this and keep cool bye